get this problem. x squared plus 12x plus 35. Now notice, once we start getting in these higher numbers, it would become very tedious for anyone to do the problem if we had to count out 35 units. Why, it would take us a very long time to count out the 35 units and we would have a very good chance of making an error. At this point, we no longer count out the individual units. We have learned how to use the units that make our rectangles. Now, as you remember, in book two, we will get out our x square, but we are no longer allowed to count out our individual x's, so we come and we get our 35 units. But this time, we must find the rectangle that makes 35, or the rectangle that contains 35 units. The first place we would look for our 35 units would be in our multiples of one. But we can look at our multiples of one and see that we only get nine units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is the most. So we would try our twos. And here we would skip count by our twos. Two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14. 16, 18. No, the highest amount we can get in twos is 18. We will look in our multiples of three. And here we can see that our highest amount is 27. We don't find it in our fours. And in our fives, we finally find it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. We have found our rectangle that contains 35. At this point, it is extremely important to recognize the milestone of learning the times tables, of playing lots of games where the child plays memory games, matching games, and the child knows 35. The child knows 35 is that rectangle that is over 5 and up 7, or 35 is 5 times 7. We have now gotten our x square, and we've gotten our rectangle containing 35 units. In this particular case, there is only one rectangle in the materials, or even in our rectangles that contain 35 units. We will place our 35 units in the corner. Now it is obvious how many X's must go to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Five X's belong on the side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven on the top. Our question is, do five and seven add up to 12? Yes, they do. We have factored the problem. Let's look again how simple it is to factor the problem once we know how to find our rectangle containing 35 units. Once we have found the rectangle containing the 35 units, we have solved the problem. This rectangle tells us everything. It tells us how far over we must go. It tells us how far up we must go. Now, all we need to do is record our factors. Our distance over is x plus 5 
x plus 5, our distance up is x plus 7. x plus 7. x plus 5, x plus 7.